<laughs> well, we got Brew at the Zoo going on this weekend. We got Terry Banishin from the city of Atascadero. It's uh, happening out at the Charles Paddock Zoo. Uh, you guys have been doing this for uh, a number of years. What is this? Yeah. The fifth? Fifth annual. Yes. A lot Thank of fun. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Bye. it's always good to have you in. Uh, where's our zoo director, Alan? Well, he threw his back out, so he couldn't be with us today. I heard he was chasing them red pandas around. He you was. Gotta be flexible to do that. <laughs> That's exactly it. Jeff says that <laughs> exhibit is like ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. It is. It's like, amazing. Blows him away. Yeah, you got to get out there. That's all there is to it. Me I'll get the up kids, there. The kids, the kids love it. They yeah. like that little back entry way to go down to the glass and look at the uh, pandas up close because it feels like you're walking through the jungle, they say. Yeah. If you go on, like, especially if you go like on a wet day or something, which we probably won't have any more of this year. But um, no, it's supposed to be beautiful Saturday evening. Yeah. So. so you can go drink beer and cider yeah. and wine and you can yeah. eat and you can drink and you can have dance and have a great time. And this is all within the zoo and the animals are around and there'll be animals that I know that are walking around. But talking about that red panda exhibit for a minute, Terry, mm -hmm. um, this is kind of the new direction that the, the zoo yes. is moving towards Definitely. moving forward, I guess I'm trying to say. Yeah, um, we have five biodiverse uh, hot spots that we recognize and Indo-Burma is one of them with the red pandas. And that exhibit and the style of that exhibit is what's to come for future. So Madagascar's next. Uh, we have a Madagascar area, but not everybody's in it. So the what's from Madagascar? Lemurs. lemurs oh, okay. Um, uh, your fossa, you know, your meerkats, your um, radiated tortoises, and your the black parrots, and I forget their real name, but they they need to be all put together and to their own exhibit area. So what you saw with Indo, Indo Burma, or what you see with Indo Burma with the red pandas, you'll experience that with Madagascar. So there's there's a lot of work to be done. So Brew at the Zoo is a perfect opportunity to help us raise money for those type of things because all the money goes back into the zoo. And one new thing is we were AZA accredited. What that means is Association of Zoos and, and Aquariums gave us our accreditation again. And that accreditation means out of 3,000 zoos in the United States, only 233 are accredited. Oh, cool. And one is the Charles Paddock Zoo. And that's because of all of our efforts with ex um, keeping animals from becoming extinct, conservation efforts, education, all of that, um, in an effort to save the animals. All of the maintenance programs that we do for the animals there, everything is top notch. So what does that accreditation mean to the business side of the zoo? Well, the business side of the zoo, you know, it... it it helps us with getting different animals over to the zoo for people to enjoy, um, as well as just being a part of the whole program of keeping animals from becoming extinct. So if we have a radiated tortoise on our end and we have, you know, a male and there's a breeding program that we send over for, you know, Florida Zoo that's accredited, we're within that um, realm of accredited accredited zoos. It's hard to say that word. <laughs> Too much coffee. So it doesn't help. <laughs> it, it's, it's street cred. Is, is what you got with with the other zoos and yeah, organizations? It, yeah, it's I a mean. very it's a it's it's your your maintenance programs and your conservation efforts and everything you're doing to save animals from becoming extinct are top notch. Well, congratulations! So, to thank the you, Alan congratulations! And the folks at the, at the, yeah, at the, at the zoo. That's you got that's really it. The cool. zoo staff and well, I wanted to make sure we there. talked about you know Alan and the good work that yeah. he's doing over there since he couldn't be with us he's today. He's doing a great job. Um, it's just a fun event. You can get out. You can drink. Talk about all the different beer, wine, cideries, and you know wineries okay. and all that stuff. Let me that get my list there. because there's a list. Yeah. but you could go to visit atascadero.com, buy your tickets, buy your tickets in advance. You're going to save a couple bucks, um, but there's 26 different craft beer, wineries, cideries, distilleries, and I can rattle off all their names, but Seven Sisters Brewing Company, 927 Beer Company out of Cambria, Ancient Peaks Winery, Bang the Drum Brewery, Belching Beaver out of San Diego, they'll be there, Bristol Cider House, which is a local favorite and a favorite in our county. Yeah, for sure. Um, Calwise Spirits for your distilled beverages, and then we have Castoro Winery, Central Coast Brewing, Love George and his team. Cutwater Spirits, Dead Oak Brewing, so I'm going in alphabetical order. <laughs> um, Donati Vineyards, uh, Dunbar Brewing is going to be there. And Dunbar just opened up or is opening up a new um, beer tasting room. His in He was telling Atascadero. us about that in Atascadero this, yeah. this summer, right? Yes. He yeah. was going to crash our liquid lunch the other day, but he did not. Um, anyway, but come out and taste what he's doing with Dunbar Brewing. I was looking at the location the other day and I was driving through. And I was like, ooh, yeah, right next to Bounce House. <laughs> Hops well, Bounce House is not going to be <laughs> dangerous. Um, so you drop yeah, the kids off. dangerous <laughs> for parents. You drop the like, kids mm. off and then you go have a beer. <laughs> kind of a good combo in a way. And then you call an Uber to go home with the <laughs> yes. kids. Which <laughs> right, car so, seat. <laughs> so go on, go on to visit at Tascadero.com. But we have, we have a ton. We have Earth and Fire Brewing out of Paso, Figaro Mountain Brewing, uh, Justin Winery, Kilo Kilo Brewing, another um, new 
one. Libertine Brewing, Modern Times Beer, Parish Family Vineyards, Ruby Cellars there wow. in Tascadero, Santa Maria Brewing, Tent City Brewing, and yes, Cocktail Company will have cocktails out there. So lots to do. Crystal Springs is going to provide us hydration stations, so we appreciate Jimmy and the team over there. Um, and then also as you enter the zoo, you'll have a welcoming with Tin City Cider and uh, Firestone Walker as you come in and get your glass, you're going to be poured some beer or cider right away to get the party started, so to speak. Um, and then we also have Ricky Montijo. He starts right at 530, 530 to 7. And then we have Bear Market Riot from uh, 730 to 9. Oh, great. Yeah. So great lineup. Lots of great food. Yes, lots of great Railroad food. Bring your money for food because yeah. food is additional. That's okay. the only thing. But you can have everything, like you're saying, Railroad Barbecue. We have What the Truck there with their famous tacos. Um, we also have um, Gypsy Flame Pizza. We have hamburgers, hot dogs. We are covering the gamut. Try to, you know, barbecue chicken, all uh, of that. I love what you guys Mac are doing with, with the lineup of um, people that are be pouring there because not only is it diverse from a wine slash beer uh, perspective, yes. um, but also cider as well and new and old. Yes. And so, so you have a lot of new that I've heard of yeah. that I want to try. Maybe I haven't got around to trying it, but then yeah. you have a lot of the established favorites that are going to be there as well. Absolutely. And that's what we were trying to do is really step it up a notch and, and bring in more and give people more options too. Yeah. And to have a good time and also um, raise money for a, a great cause. With the proceeds. So. You can go to the local events page at KZOZ.com if you uh, want to click on the link for Brew at the Zoo on Saturday. You can get your tickets in advance. You'll save five bucks. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a great time. It starts at 5.30. Uh, great to see you, man. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.